Hello and welcome to this December 21st, 2010 video version of Invested Central's Chart of the Day. I'm Tom Boley, Invested Central's Chief Market Strategist, and it's my pleasure to provide you today's Chart of the Day. This Chart of the Day is brought to you by StockCharts.com, simply the web's best financial charts. Today we're taking a look at Highwoods Properties, Inc., ticker symbol HIW. This is about a $2.2 billion financial company. Uh, it is actually a uh, real estate investment trust, or a REIT. Um, taking a look at the chart technically, actually, this is the daily chart. Uh, we don't have the weekly chart up, but if you were to pull up a weekly chart, you would see that HIW just hit its 50-week moving average and is bouncing off of it. So when you look at this daily chart and see it below the moving averages, just keep in mind that it is holding that long-term support area on its weekly chart. The other thing that's not drawn on here is there's pretty decent support uh, especially on a closing basis right at about the 29 and a half level and you can see that's right where we got to uh, about a week ago uh, when we were pulling back and notice on this move to the downside when we put in this bullish engulfing candle right here on the bottom this came this reversing candle came uh, at the same time that we had a positive divergence on the stock so even though we've been selling for really uh, we sold for off for about a six or seven week period uh, the momentum to the downside, the selling momentum, was actually starting to wane. You can see each time we pulled back, uh, we bounced, we hit a 20-day moving average test, came back down again, MACD was pointing straight down, we went sideways, we hit the 20-day moving average, we went lower again, and on this push lower, the MACD did not make a new low. So now we've got the reversing candle, we're starting back up, MACD is pointing back up, looks like HIW is actually starting to gain some traction and bullish momentum to the upside. I love the volume that's come in recently. You can see that the volume uh, three of the last four days has been over a million shares. Uh, they, I think HIW normally has about 800,000 shares. That's their average over the last 90 days. So very, very strong volume the last few days. And Monday's close was back above the 20-day moving average. And in a downtrend, that is no small feat to get back above that moving average and to do it with above average volume, about 50% above average volume, I think, uh, says something about the stock here. So technically, I think to the downside, I'd look for the 20-day moving average to hold. That is coming in now at 3060, so you can watch that level to the downside. But in the near term, I'm actually looking for a push back up to test this gap resistance level and also the 50-day moving average, both of them come in just below $32. So maybe another buck, uh, a little bit more than a buck to get up to that level, and then we'll see whether or not this uh, HIW can get through with that heavy volume. If it can get through the 50-day moving average and this gap resistance with heavy volume, chances are it's going to head back up to uh, retest the October high, almost $35. In fact, I would begin to look at possibly a cup uh, forming here off of this uptrend. So HIW, I think, looks pretty interesting. Again, the positive divergence, I think, has uh, got the stock off and running. The move back above the 20-day with heavy volume, I think, confirms that uh, positive divergence and the possible reversal that's taking place. So I look for HIW to do fairly well here in the near term. I hope you've enjoyed our presentation today. Be sure to check out our chart of the day every day at investedcentral.com. While you're there, sign up for our free weekly Market Pulse newsletter and have the chart of the day emailed directly to you. Happy trading.